behind Matt Patricia's beard the people of America are used to it. Matt Patricia may be known for his beard, and the pencil in his ear, and his aeronautical engineering degree from RPI, and the three Super Bowl rings he's won with the New England Patriots, but the man everyone expects to become the next Detroit Lions coach hasn't always worn one. When Patricia arrived at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the early 1990s, the coach who recruited him to school remembers Patricia being a pretty clean-cut guy. Patricia did keep a closely cropped beard as a senior, game programs from the 1995 season show, but by the time he took over as a graduate assistant the following season, his slick back hair was shorter and his face was fuzz-free. So why did the Patriots' gruff-looking defensive coordinator start growing his overflowing mane? Friends and former players have different theories, but most revolve around two central themes, hard work and a boyish face. He'll probably kill me, but he's got dimples, said Travis Grawl, Patricia's former roommate and teammate at RPI. You can't be a coach of men with dimples, so I think he covers it up with a beard. Trending Lions News Ex-Michigan Pounds Pierre Woods, Matt Patricia will make Lions champions What does Matt Patricia look like without a beard? We found a photo while pictures of a beardless Patricia wearing a Patriots logoed polo are floating around the internet, Patricia did sport a goatee in the first photo of him as a Patriots assistant that appears in the 2005 media guide. In 2004, his first season with the team, Patricia's bio appears in the media guide without a picture. The Patriots used similar photos of Patricia from media guides up until 2014, when the beard first appeared, but friends and former players remember some change in facial hair before that. I think it was when he started coaching the offensive line, in 2005, and if you look back at the Patriots' offensive line guys, they had beards and I think that's when it started, said Scott Sasenberry, another ex-teammate and friend of Patricia's from his college days. All of my friends would say, what in the world? What's he doing? Why does he have an ugly beard? I'm like, I don't know. Just probably cause he doesn't have time to shave. Sasenberry said Patricia was one of the youngest looking kids in our fraternity, for sure, because of his dimples and baby face, but his theory about Patricia's beard being born out of all the hours he poured into coaching holds weight with others. I don't know the story behind the beard. How it ever came to fruition, former Patriots linebacker Nico Kautuvites said. I just thought because he was in his, bleeping, office probably day in, day out, that thing just started growing and took a life of its own and he was like, you know what, I kind of like this thing, let's keep it going. More, Lions coaching search still feels like musical chairs on Titanic Patricia was known to put in regular 20-hour days when he first arrived in New England, and players said he usually slept in the office two or three nights a week. I think if people really thought about it they'd probably know, said Ray Moran, Patricia's close friend and former offensive line coach at RPI. I'll give you my anecdote to what I do. I have a goatee, I've had a goatee since, oh. I don't know, 92, because I look slightly softer without the goatee. I think there's a certain amount of presence that comes with it. I think there's a certain amount of mystique that comes with it. And I also think that as a person it means something to you because maybe that's again another reminder of all the hard hours and stuff that he puts in. And if he's got to be a hard guy, it's much easier to be a hard guy when you don't look like you're 12. So that's my particular take on that. Patricia has never had a problem being tough on players in New England, and Kautuvites said no one never thought twice about his beard. In fact, players liked that he wore it, and that there was no pretense about him and his work. He's all football and doesn't care about the other stuff that goes along with it, said Ross Tucker, an NFL analyst who hosts the Ross Tucker football podcast and play defensive line for the Patriots when Patricia helped coach that position group in 2005. He's not going to look a certain way or act a certain way because that's what the stereotype is or that's what you need to look like to be a head coach. He's just going to be him, and in a weird way, I can picture it being a turn off for owners and also something that ingratiates him with the players. Pierre Woods, 
a former Michigan linebacker who played parts of five seasons with the Patriots with Patricia as his position coach, said he doesn't expect Patricia to change his look once it takes over the Lions. He'll cut it after the season, like he usually does, Woods predicted, but grow it out again once the 2018 season rolls around. I think the beard is going to stay, Woods said. I hope he don't cut it, because it's part of his image, it's who he is, so I think he'll shave it down a little bit to make it look respectable and getting a coach's job and things like that. But the beard is him, man. He's the beard, so I think his wife is used to it, his kids are used to it. The people of America are used to it. Contact Dave Burkett, burkett at freepress.com. Follow him on Twitter at Dave Burkett. Download our Lions Extra app for free on Apple and Android.